Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brentford facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five, but I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And this confrontation is underway. Johan Wiesa. They've lost it. Well, news of a goal update on the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Chelsea. They've scored the opener here with only one minute played. Oh, jumping in. They're in a great position here. Couldn't make it 1-0. Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. That well, was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek. And you have to say, their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. Holland. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Goal. And so the game back in business. Sitting ahead here. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Mukoko onto De Jong given away by City promising attack this and players waiting in the centre oh he couldn't outwit the keeper it's a short one just the challenge that was required this might be ideal for the counter. A move of promise on the flank. Options in the centre. And the problem not completely solved. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Mali prevented it from going over the line. He's got space. Oh, this is looking promising. Tremendously strong in the tackle. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. To make it 2-0. A goal! taken spot kick well here it is again and just watch the keeper he stands still hoping to hit down the middle unfortunately for him he's got it wrong 
So 2-0 now. Holland. And they have possession again. Well, half-time almost upon us, and playing away from home isn't bothering them in the slightest. Stuart, how about your take? Well, they're dominating this first half. Their approach play, their cleverness around the box, and the finishing have been excellent. They just need to continue this going into the second period. The first half here comes to an end. So back underway here into the second half. Well, this is interesting. I believe changing circumstances in the Arsenal game. Alex Scott? Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. It was a free kick that deflected off the wall and the goalkeeper had no chance with that one. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 47 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Brentford facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. And De Bruyne firing it over. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, threat over for now. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Ivan Tony. Can he finish? Well, wonderful counter-attacking football. Just unfortunate that they didn't score. Well, had he scored, that would have been a great goal. The speed in which they changed from defence to attack was brilliant. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. De Bruyne. Opportunity. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Substitution up for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. Coming onto the pitch, number 22, Jude Bellingham. And a goal has gone in at the Emirates. Let's hear about it from Alex. Another for Wolverhampton Wanderers. They're back in this now with 64 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV Live. It's Manchester City facing Sevilla. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Oh, he's lost possession. Cross could be useful. And a goal to seal the hat trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have the jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. Three goals without reply. Takes the shot. And a squandered opportunity there. Well, they've decided to make a change. Josh Desilva to be replaced by number 23, King Lewis Potter. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 14. Andrew right, I'm hearing something has happened in the Forest game. What exactly? Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Chelsea. They've pulled one back with 77 minutes played. And in! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Holland. And he takes on the shot. Lucky. So making the substitution now. To be replaced by number six, Christian Nogard. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, 
number 47, Phil Foden. To be replaced by number 26, Riyad Mahrez. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. And that is offside. Well, no stopping him. And the cross smuggled away. And that is that full time here. And a win for Sicily. In terms of the group stage form so far, nothing really to complain. Well, I can tell you from past experience, this city is well worth a visit. We're in Seville at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position, will it be? And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Marcos Acuna. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Lucas Ocampos. Corner awarded. Taken short. He takes aim. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Over it comes. A very effective clearance. Jesus Corona. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, with a place in the knockout stages guaranteed last time out, the visitors will be hoping to continue that rich vein of form this evening. Well, it certainly takes the pressure off them today. Now they can go out and play with a bit of freedom and show us what a really good side they are. Well, there to intercept. challenge carried with it quite the element of risk now what's the referee going to do next and it's difficult to visualize a way back into the game for them now well how bad can it get that sealed their fate for sure Joao Cancelo cutting in what can he do from this position able to get a body in the way Rakitic Here's Fernando Well there's been quite the focus on him Coming into today's game Taking on his old club and Stewart Different players react to that in different ways Well Derek, I always found it difficult Playing against my old clubs Especially Arsenal, I just felt so strange It might well be the same for him today Hopefully not Top class defending And the referee blows for a foul He's given it away. Kevin De Bruyne. Joao Cancelo. Vital interception. The danger was very real. And City get the throw in. Cancelo. really opened them up here 
Oh, but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there goes the whistle for half time. Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. And City coming away with it. Oh, the threat is there. He must finish. And now the goal the City fans wanted to see. It's hard to see them throwing this away. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Marcos Acuna. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Neymar, opportunity here, well fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper, substitution then, let's see how it affects the match, struggling to get it away, Mares, element of risk there, but he's won the ball, Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Sevilla facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. A City free kick forthcoming. He has teammates around him. And Bellingham... throw into Manchester City well possibilities in the centre and that pass could be troublesome and a goal what a magnificent display it's such a one-sided contest here well here's the replay and he shows great awareness to play this through ball and the finish is clinical he just makes it look so easy doesn't he and as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Yusuf and Nesiri. Very quick thinking there. Just ten minutes remaining here. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Rakitic has lost it here. Riyad Mahrez. Read it superbly to take back possession. There will be one minute added on at the end. There goes the final whistle. 